<clears throat> now, um, what we have on the bottom of the deck is the Queen of Swords in the reverse. And the Queen of Swords is somebody who's logical and wise and um, tends to be a business person, very quick-witted. Um, but she tends to be a little bit guarded a lot of times, probably because she's she's very intellectually driven. Um, she's not um, an overly emotional person, usually. Um, sometimes that's n not the case, depending on um, what else is in her chart, her birth chart. But Queen of Swords can be a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, such as herself. Um, in the reverse position, however, this is somebody who may not be, um, who may not do well for you. Like, um, oh God, that's the understatement of the year. I do feel a little scattered today. I don't know why. Um, at any rate, she's somebody who can be backstabbing and vicious and not good. Um, if this queen of swords in the reverse represents your wife, look out. She's probably having a rough day or week or month or a year. Um, but this is somebody that is not your friend, can possibly stab you in the back. Um, so there can be some of that energy. How serious that energy is, how mild. It could be as mild as just kind of um, mild or bug you with the gossip type thing, or it could be as much as um, a backstabbing type situation or a betrayal of trust or just a general type betrayal. Okay. <clears throat> now we see here the hanged man energy. And the hanged man is really about going deep into reflection, meditation, um, kind of a, a withdrawing from the world. Think vision quest for three days. Think um, some sort of long weekend where you take time out to really reflect and to see what it is that you need to do, what your best options are um, going to be for your life. Or maybe because you're trying to meditate and get centered so that you can uh, just make sure that you're on the path that you really want to be in. Now, this person who's uh, the hanged man here put himself in there or herself. This is not because somebody else decided to torture you. This was voluntary and it was done to get a different perspective on the world to, to find enlightenment. And you'll see the halo around this individual's head that indicates uh, an awakening, right? That's crown chakra awakening, um, intuition, spiritual connectivity, and understanding of the way that the universe works. Now we see this with the Ace of Wands coming out of that place of meditation and understanding your true soul's purpose leads the way to this Ace of Wands, which is about action, um, passion into action, right? Making something happen, right? This is the beautiful result after having gone through like three other phases of development and really getting to the point where you're able to to fly, really. This is about evolving to your highest, best self, your best level, uh, being able to bring that forth, a new beginning, some new passion that you're putting into action. You're making it happen. This is Aquarian energy right now, right? And this moves into the magician. So you figure out what you want to do, and then you take the first steps to make it happen. And then the magician is about knowing exactly what you need to do to make it happen. This magician is making it happen. Um, he or she has mastery of the four elements and also a deep understanding of the fifth dimension, which is, of course, spirit, intuition, psychism, etc. Right? So this is a really, really positive beginning for your reading. <clears throat> Note that the Hanged Man and the Magician cards too, those are major arcana cards, which means that they're pertaining to spiritual journey. Uh, this is about you manifesting you and your destiny on the earth plane, understanding your soul's purpose and manifesting that. Now, the Six of Pentacles is about a reciprocal relationship. It's about balance, right? This person seems to be giving these coins to these kids, but yet the kids are doing something too. Maybe he's giving the kids the coins because they rake the leaves for him or um, whatever the case. They mowed the lawn or you know something like that. <clears throat> it's about give and take and a balance between the give and take relationships. 
that they face, right? So this is this is a really really good thing here. Generosity, not just of money, but generosity of your time, of your spirit, of your wisdom. <clears throat> the Eight of Cups in the reverse, like that, indicates. Um, a hesitation to walk away from something, to follow your destiny towards, you know, and, and walk away in a sense, right? So there's something else that's going on. Like, like on the one hand, it seems that, you know, the hanged man, Ace of Wands, magician, you know what you're doing on a spiritual level, but there may still be some difficulties going through some of your earthly relationships. Maybe you have a mick job. That's my generic or general term that I use for a generic type job, a mick job you know, or a, um, a relationship or something that you're not really sure what's going on. Now, <clears throat> this is the positivity of the give and take. Um, this is a decision not to, to walk away from something, but then in the future, we see this three of swords, which is, um, a heartache situation. This is pain in a relationship or some other type of situation. It can be mental pain. Swords is the suit of, of the mind the air suit. So it could be <clears throat> that there's a, there's something you don't want to move away from that may cause you pain later on. It's sort of like you're delaying it. You've been giving, you know, there's, there's been some kind of a give and take generosity. Um, be sure to check and make sure that this is balanced, give and take energy for you. But in this, there's a hesitation or not wanting to move on from some situation that's causing you heartache or pain. Okay, <clears throat> now, this indicates that there is or was some kind of a message that was coming in, um, possibly the beginning of something, some new love that was coming in. Cups is, um, that's Cancer Scorpio Pisces. Page tends to be a young person younger than yourself, unless you are a very, very young person yourself. Um, but you'll note that the cup that she's offering here has a fish in it. So this is a tangible offer, um, just like we have this here. This is a tangible offer of money, time, attention, you know, affection, and so on. So something that you came to understand that you needed to do really gave you an understanding of what it was that you wanted to begin to pursue. Where you wanted to move, what kind of love you wanted to move into. This could be a relationship. This could be a new job. This could be some area of your family. Here we have a celebration. We have people getting together, women's night out, um, or <clears throat> um, just three people that, that get along. In the reverse, that can be gossiping and, and negativity and so on. But it, it really looks like it's not, not that way. I, I mean, I kind of feel like for some of you, this... You've got this new start that you're doing, and it's kind of the end, maybe, of a journey. I, I'm feeling like this was <clears throat> where you had been before, and it's now present tense. You've got spiritual help, and we see this again in here. The raven is symbolic of the spiritual help, too. The understanding of the, the matters of night, even in the daytime, like bringing the shadow into the light for understanding, clarity. This tells me that... You're, you're stopping your, your motion in a way because you figured out what your steps are going to be here. And there's a sense of celebration with that. There's a toast here. This also could be the joining of three people in partnership. For example, a business. You know, maybe you've got somebody that's going to work the business with you. You've got, um, you know, somebody else that's giving you contracts or, or answering phones or whatever the case may be. But it, it seems to me like this is some kind of an office environment or, <clears throat> a happy celebration of a kind, you know, and these pieces are coming together because you figured out what this is to be and you're starting to manifest that like a happy business partnership. Now, uh, moving forward, we do see this King of Wands here in the reverse. And just like the Ace of Wands has to do with fire, fire signs, um, King of Wands, this is going to be your Aries, Leo, or um, Sagittarius, but this person's in the reverse. So this person could be a player. It could be somebody maybe who's part of a partnership, um, 
or some kind of endeavor or something, but maybe it fizzles out. Maybe that's part of it. For those of you that's a relationship, this can be about physical sexual passion. So maybe you've taken some time to think, do I want to get together with this person or not? And then here we have this individual. This In the reverse, the King of Wands can be a serious player, right? Or it could be somebody, maybe even in a business sense or what have you, who loses that interest in whatever this partnership was that you were trying to get together and it fizzles out. Again, that's the problem with general readings is, is for some people it's business and for some it's relationships and, you know, it can be hard to tell. But we did see this here. Now, as you're trying to go about your business and manifest, there's this underlying lack of passion that comes in. I don't feel like that's from you, though, but that's somebody else. Again, possibly a fire sign, but not necessarily. Maybe somebody who tends to be a fired up individual. It doesn't have to be a man, could be a woman. But there's some kind of heartache, maybe even a jealousy, somebody from your past who doesn't like to see your success. Be very careful that you check the people around you. I mean, this is a good card in the upright as far as other people celebrating your success. But be careful that nobody in there is phony and pretending. You don't need phony people around you right now. You know, that's for sure. Especially when we, we check back with our Queen of Swords over here in the reverse. This Queen of Swords has to do with a backstabbing biddy. Now, <laughs> these two seem to be about as, as opposite as they possibly can get. But for some, this guy's going to burn you and this gal's the Ice Queen. And going to be cold and so on. So... <clears throat> Is that one of these people here or are these new people for you? But you're going to have to go within and follow your gut on that. How the specifics of this reading play out for you, that's something that you're going to have to go in and see. I, all of this up here is so positive that I really feel like something great is coming in, but there's still some people in your environment who don't like to see your success and they're jealous and they're bitter and kind of shitty about it. That's the queen and the king reversed. But you can do this on your own, right? You don't need them for that. This magician card tells you that you have what it takes to manifest. You can make this happen. You don't rely on those people that are being negative to you or about you. <clears throat> it certainly isn't about them. And you kind of have to do what you got to do. And in fact, you're going to be providing a very good service to the, the world uh, in that. Because when you connect your soul purpose with your physical manifestation on this earth, everyone on the planet benefits from that. It's that kind of, um, it, it's that, that theory that <clears throat> the, the wings flapping on a butterfly some, you know, 10,000 miles away can influence the weather over here. Uh, <clears throat> Now, I will shuffle our cards, um, our oracle cards today. Um, I'm working with my brand new deck, thanks to my roommate who just got back from a vacation in Arizona. Um, they are called the Sacred Traveler Cards by Denise Lynn. And let me give these a shuffle and we'll see what spirit has to, to say for you. Um, <clears throat> so if spirit would please help us with some advice, some guidance, some encouragement some best steps, some wisdom. Okay. <clears throat> Fellow travelers, support is all around you. Let's see if we can get that without it being blurry. Um, the card meaning, be open to support and help from others. You don't need to do it alone. Sometimes that support comes from someone you'd least expect. If someone offers you help, accept it. Trust that your life is guided. Unseen spirit travelers are helping you. Know that you are so very loved in ways that you may not always directly experience. Sharing the journey means that there is support all around you. Blessings from above are showering over your life. You are safe. Angels and spirit guides are real, and their presence is near. They're only a thought away. They're messengers from the Creator, and they come with immense blessings and love. All is well. The sacred traveler wants you to know fellow travelers are guiding and supporting you, and they love you deeply and profoundly. Be still and open your heart to their messages and healing. 
They will come to you in soft breezes, rainbows, and feathers that seem to magically appear. Sometimes they will come in the form of a stranger with a message. These signs let you know that you're going in the right direction and that all is unfolding exactly as it should. Messengers from the Creator come with immense blessings and love. Be open to receive love from others. You are a healing love you are a healing loving force for others. What a beautiful message to end on. 